Hi there, I'm John and welcome to my shop. In today's video, I'm going to tell you why I spent $500 of my own money on tools from Amazon. Let's get into it. In these two boxes, $500 worth of tools, and I'm going to share with you my thoughts on why I bought them. Let's get into it. So the first thing uh, I pull out of here are uh, safety glasses. Six pack of safety glasses. And these are for the, the, the kids, the children. We have three grandchildren and they're always out here hanging out in the shop. And you know what? They have, and they have six different colors to choose from. They'll probably be fighting over the colors, but it's all right. So look. They're small for me, but you know what? They actually work pretty good. Look at this. That's pretty cool. All right, so that'll keep them safe. So I didn't have, I ran out of safety glasses. They, they were getting broke or scratched or, you know, there's just, just no good. So, so for the little guys and girls, got some safety glasses for the little ones. And then for the, the grown up people, I got a couple of uh, pair of these DeWalt's. Uh, safety glasses. I use my prescription glasses and with the extra protection coverage, but sometimes I do need them on the side too. So I could put, I could put these over my glasses. Uh, I'm also thinking about getting prescription safety glasses. So the glasses, the kids glasses are $12.99 for that six pack. And the DeWalt glasses were, they were $4.28 a piece. So I'm going to print it out the prices so I can tell you as we go. So, and I'm going to link everything here in the description below. Not a problem at all, but I just wanted to, you know, I think we all like to know how much stuff costs. At least I do. So let's see what's next. All right. Let's open this up. I know... If you're familiar with woodworking, you've seen this bad dude around. It's only been around for about 20 years, so and I've never owned one. So I'll show you what I've been using. And it has the thin strip, the uh, the eighth inch ripper guide, so to attach to this to get those thin strips. Because I don't know about you, but ripping thin strips for cutting boards, ripping thin strips for anything, is tough when you're using just uh, the stuff that we make as woodworkers which is fine they work great i just want to i want to up my game with my safety a little bit and i've been using these i got this idea a few years ago off of youtube and i don't remember who it was and i apologize but it's just a trowel i just this is a v-notch trowel just a cheap trowel from the big box store and glued some uh a bunch of plywood together and put a uh you can see i used them to use them a lot so this uh, up against the fence and uh, cutting small strips and these as well so but I just think this is gonna give me a better chance of being safe and uh, that's what it's all about right now for me so nothing wrong with homemade jigs homemade tools I, I, I can I have them all over the shop and I'll continue to uh, continue to make them and use them it's just that I won't have to make them as often now with this so and what is this oh yeah the uh, micro jig gripper and this one came in at $79 so all right so, so, so what else we got in here all right so this is another product by micro jig and this is their uh, their smart push block so we could open this up. That's one way of doing it. I guess I should have had a knife here. This is one of the main reasons I wanted this because of this feature in the, in the push block. And it has great reviews. This product has uh, been around for a long time. So 
this is what I'm this is what I'm currently using for push blocks. These pads that came with my Grizzly uh, bench top joiner, and these stock pads just don't work that good. They slide, and so I'm looking forward to this grip, this handle, and these little the little cleats that fall down to catch the wood. And you can lock them up also if you don't want to use them. So I'm really looking forward to that. It'd be safer on the joiner, safer on the uh, table saw, or whatever I'm using it for. So in combination with, uh, with the gripper. So, all right, so the gripper and the micro jig smart, uh, smart block. So the smart block was 2535. Okay, and I'm just trying to see. I, I have my tools over here. I'm comparing what I'm using now versus what I'm going to use with the new tools. And some of them I don't have replacements. I mean, I just don't, I don't have uh, like safety glasses. I didn't have any and so here we go. Moving right along. This is, uh, this is, what's that saying? Buy once, cry once. Well, that's what this is. This is a diamond homing and polishing kit by Trend. And with all my reviews, this was $205. Let me get exact numbers here. $205.17. And um, I have been sharpening my tools. So this, uh, okay, so this comes with the fine diamond grit, 1,000. It comes with uh, the coarse side on the other side, 300. And you know what, for what I'm doing, I think 300 and 1,000 and some, uh, some uh, honing compound. And I think it's just gonna work out to be, this whole package deal for $205, I think it's gonna be perfect for me for the rest of my life. Now, I may be wrong, but I hope not. So. I'll show you what I'm using right now for sharpening. This was this the little cheapy uh, stone here. Just a sharpening stone, three-sided. This is Harbor Freight stuff. Um, it, does it work? Yeah, it, it, it's okay. Now, I've done, I, I did this, a sandpaper on a board. It's supposed to be on glass or metal or a hard flat surface. But I didn't have any around, so I just took some plywood and it actually and to put the different grits and ran my chisels through this, and it actually worked pretty good. So, but this is uh, this is pretty substandard for what I want to start using now because what I sharpen now is my here's the chisels I've used. This is a Dewalt inch and a half. This is a decent chisel for rough construction, beating stuff to death. You know chopping stuff like a chopper you know and then I have a uh, this cobalt chisel this one's just from uh, Lowe's but this one's pretty decent I don't beat this one up I actually treat this one like a real chisel and then the other chisel are just Harbor Freight chisels which are absolutely uh, worthless but they are really good for uh, just beating stuff up getting nails out all the stuff you don't use a chisel for but it's good for glue glue removal and uh, so, but I do use them. I use them a lot. But what I want to start using is I got these, these Stanley Sweetheart chisels, and they're a nice, they're a nice chisel. They're not top of the line, but they're a nice quality chisel. And how do I know that? Because people that have been doing word working their whole life, a lot of them seem to agree. So, and they're not too expensive. Okay. Um, I actually ordered these on Home Depot. So their quality and so I plan on taking care of these with my new diamond honing polishing kit from Trend. That's where I was going with this. All right. All right, so we're getting to the bottom of the box. So right here what we have CMT Orange Tools. How did I choose this company? You've probably seen it on the internet, you know, on YouTube. Uh, what I've been using in the past is either DeWalt, Diablo. 
I've used Harbor Freight, you know, these blades, and, and they're fine. Most of the time I'm using cutting through redwood and cedar. And now lately I've been cutting through more hardwoods. But these blades are good. They just don't last that long and they can't be resharpened. So having said that, this company CMT, this blade right here, this is a um, this is the fine finish 10 inch 60 tooth. This one's gonna go on my chop saw. And this blade right here, the 60 tooth was $50.10. And when I buy these Diablos or Dewalt or even Harbor Freight blades, excuse me, blades, they're, they're anywhere from $25 to $40. So, and these can be resharpened and they have resharpening instructions on the back, on the back of the blade as well. So that's why I'm going with these CMT full curve, can be resharpened and they're not that expensive compared to some of the high dollar blades. And here is another blade. And this one's gonna go on the table saw. And this one's a nice ripper here. So yeah, they're made in Italy. So they look cool anyways, nice and shiny. <laughs> but they have good reviews and that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for uh, a better blade, sharper, lasts longer. And that's why I got them. So, well that does it for this box. Just jump over, I guess we'll leave it right here and just get into this box. All right, this is the product that you guys have probably seen around all over YouTube. So, I don't have any feather boards right now. And so therefore, sometimes it's always sketchy when I'm uh, running the material through a fence and I need a feather board. So, I've heard great things about them. I've seen the other products out here that are similar to these. And I thought I would just give this a try. And this comes in at price sheets. The feather board comes in at $33.99 is what I paid for it. So yeah, these, th this, this isn't even comparable. So I'm looking forward to using this. Uh, I use the table saw a lot and I've, I've just put it off on using this, uh, put off on buying it when actually I, I've needed this a long, long time ago. So the Bow Feather Pro Feather Board. A lot of names there. Okay, what else we got in here? All right. Gluebot. They've been around for a little while and uh, I wanted to try it out because what am I using now? Well, I buy glue like this in the gallons, usually, and I buy them in the, sm buy them in the small bottles too. But they do clog up. You know it. Look at this. They're not even that dirty and <laughs> I couldn't even get it off. So. I mean, they're not even, they're stuck, but they're, so this is what I'm looking forward to, right? See the, the, here's what, here is a prime example of what a chisel is good for, All right? So hopefully I'll have less of that and uh, the glue will always be ready. So glue bot, actually I got the glue bot and a set of, uh, I, I got the glue bot I apologize. I messed up. I got the glue bot. I got the glue bot and a tape measure is what I got together. So um, they were $15.98 for both. I thought that was a pretty good deal. So the glue bot, I told you why I want the glue bot. Try that out. The tape measure, this is a fast cap tape measure. And for years, I've, you know, I told you before my history, my, my history, my construction background is is, constru my, is construction, residential construction, patio covers, all that stuff. So I've always used the regular Stanleys, not even these, the big 35, 30 foot, 25 foot, the chrome ones, and they work for me. Everyone has their own taste and they work. So I like these little Stanleys in the shop, the little 25 footers. My son, he likes to use the Craftsman, and actually I like the matte finish on that. I like that matte finish visually. It works for me. So 
but I've heard good things about fast cap and their tape measures. I've gotten so good at reading upside down over all these years, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to use this. So this one, this one is called standard reverse. So you can read it both ways and the numbers are, uh, they're going, they're right side up. So I'm looking forward to trying it out. I don't know if I'm gonna, I mean, it's very good quality. It's got the pencil sharpener in there, uh, but it feels like it's, it's small enough, grippy enough. You could write on this, write on this and, uh, and erase it as well, put notes on there. So I'm looking forward to trying out the fast cap tape measure. Okay. And that was, I told you how much that was, $15.98 for the glue bot and the tape measure. So, all right, so there's one more. This is it right here. The last, the last one right here is, this is by Tay Tools, and these are machinist squares. Now, right now, I don't have any squares. I'm going to open this up. Well, I do have squares. See, I'm over here lying to you right now. I don't have any small squares. So, so these Machinist squares by Tay Tools, and they have they have good reviews on they have good products, and uh, is they're not woodpeckers. But guess what? <laughs> Here's the thing. I'm looking for something that works, right? And uh, the mach machinist squares have a smaller tolerance than some of the other tools. And so I've been told by that, by some woodworkers and some machinists that recommend for woodworkers to get machinist squares because they're not that expensive. These machinist squares are only $34.99. And what I'm using now, I don't have anything small enough. I don't have anything small enough, you know, to you know, check the bandsaw blade or check the, uh, to get in tight with the miter saw blade or to check anything small for square. I have, I have some nicer squares, but they're, they're not small, right? You know, even if I use that, or I have a couple little plastic ones and they're great for drawing and stuff or checking stuff. But I mean, not for accuracy, you know, nice, nice. It has a nice weight to it too. So I'm looking forward to these small squares and I have this little speed square I use, but it's not small. So that's why I bought these by Tay Tools, these machine squares. And I'm really excited. Actually, I'm excited about all of these things, but I'm really kind of looking forward to using something pretty accurate and that will work for the application I need. Well, that does it $500 on tools that hopefully improve my safety workflow and quality so if you got value out of this video um, hit like and subscribe i'd sure appreciate it and if there's anything else that you want to ask me uh, maybe there's something that you saw in the shop or something about a tool anything just leave in the description below and uh, i'll get back at you and so i want to uh, thank you again for being on this journey with me and until next time